Hey, gum people. Uh, this little stove here, I can't find anywhere on, on these controls. You got to kind of go back to the, uh, damn, stupid alarm going off. I'm watering my plants because the temperature dropped so damn much out there. Uh, from the earlier video, it was like 64, and now it's the windshield's like 27. So the temperature's dropping within the last four or five hours a lot. So I started a fire, and this is a, uh, hell, I forgot who made this fireplace. I'll look it up and put it in the description. I can't remember. It's Quadrifire. That's what it is. Uh, it's a nice oven, uh, but but they don't really kind of tell you how to build a fire. So it's probably taken me two seasons now to figure out how to work this thing. If you see the flame is really big right now, they have a little switch down there. And this is for people with Quadrifire, so this probably isn't a gun video. But they call it that a ACC switch. So this is my knob to go lower to adjust the airflow and then that shuts down the airflow at night for low this is high to get it started but this little switch right here they call it the ACC that's really high right now and, and when you start a fire if you pull it all the way over here that extra inch or two there really gives you a lot of airflow which will get this fire roaring and uh it makes a big difference. So I'm going to turn it down, turn off that ACC, and turn it down low. And you'll watch this fire really go down. And you'll see the blue flames at the top. And they say that's what you want because it's burning the, uh, it's not letting anything out. So these fires are really efficient. So there's no gas in there. It almost looks like there's gas. But the, the I guess the superheated air or whatever, it explains it on the website. But right now I'm running in and out watering my plants, so I just started this while I was gone. And then it took me forever to figure out how to work this damn thing. And, you know, their, their support is kind of weak. And uh, the guy who put it in was kind of a dummy, so... But the stove is pretty good. Uh, and you notice when you turn down low, you'll see these... These kind of flames to where it wants to go out and then it puffs up. As it's... It, to me, it's almost like sucking a gas out of the... Uh, out of the logs and then all of a sudden you'll get this nice big uh, explosion of fire and it's because the air is down so low right now and that's why they say these stoves are so efficient it's gonna burn it and I usually turn this on low at night uh, 10 o'clock at night I'll throw a couple logs in there and if I get up four or five in the morning it's still red coals in there and I can throw a couple more logs in there and get it heated up for the morning but uh, I'm surprised that flames there because normally when it goes down to low you've just got your uh, red coals working on you and uh, and then if I turn this back up you'll notice it takes a second and I immediately get some more flames it's letting more oxygen in there uh, you can probably see the coals kind of lighten up a little bit and then if I turn it to the ACC that extra boost basically you're just opening up the vent even more then you get a lot more flames and it really fires up so depending on how you want to do it, obviously if it's on high and you got more flames, you're burning your wood quicker, so you're not burning efficiency. So I'm going to turn on the ACC now to where it's high, and in a second you'll see the uh, that extra airflow in there is going to start this flame to start firing back up. And uh, when you're starting to fire, you want to do that because it gets it gets that fire all around all the logs, so you get a, a red glow on all the logs all the way around. And again, it's taken me almost two years to figure out how to work this sucker. Um, so just a little tip, if somebody's getting one of these wood burning stoves, when you want that high, it says where you turn this on, the ACC, just when you start it to get your fire going. That's really just what I call a super booster. And uh, that, that gets your flames and your roaring fire to where it really starts going around all the logs and it, it'll clean your glass. You know, you see a little bit of that uh, smoke glass on there that smoke is from cooling that glass so every time I open that door it, it gets a little darker and then I have to clean it and uh, cleaning it you know just warm just water when it's warm and just clean it with a paper towel it cleans it up fine for me if I need more I dip it in the ashes but uh, you can tell when you turn on high it doesn't take long and now that flames really going up uh, if I left it like this it would burn that wood out pretty quick so if you just want a roaring fire, then just leave it like your starter on 
and uh, it, it'll burn your wood up and you throw some more wood in there and, and you know you'll have red coals ideally you want all your red coals at the bottom uh, I usually get the little laser heater to see how what the temperature is in here but it always maxes out and I don't know how hot it is right now I can grab my uh, my laser heater if Smokey doesn't start chasing a laser sometimes he likes to chase the laser so uh, zoom out here I don't know if you can see that laser on there can you see that laser yeah there's a laser on the left there so the laser on the left on that part right there is showing 106 degrees then if I move it over to the window you can't see it it shows 480 degrees so right in the center of that left glass from here it goes 110 degrees so we got 110 116 right there it's heating up and then when I go to the glass jumps up to 510 uh, if I go a little higher it's cooler up top there if I go to the bottom at the at the bottom you probably can't see the laser there it's right on the uh, there it is so at the bottom it's only 165 degrees so that glass is pretty damn hot at 520 and that's where all my heat's coming out um, so anyway you can tell that ACC got this fire roaring again and I mean it just really puts off the heat so I'll leave it like this if, I, if it's really cold and I want to heat up the place but right now it's getting too damn hot so I need to turn it down it was 66 degrees in here when I started that and it's moving up to 68 right now so um, you know I, I don't need it that high I'm gonna go ahead and knock down this ACC and uh, I'm gonna turn it to low and then you're gonna see this blue flames coming out of the top there and it's really rolling and kind of just putting out burning all that excess gas they say you shouldn't see smoke in these fires when I put logs in there there's really no smoke I mean that's just white hot I don't know if this thing's picking it up as good as it is but that that sucker is just in front of me it's like super white and uh, blue hot and again that's uh putting out a lot of heat you hear it smoking you hear that cracking I don't know if you can hear that it's like expanding uh, hell I can't think of which what what's what are those pots made of cast iron it's like expanding cast iron and as it heats up it expands so when I hear that cracking I know the temperatures going up and um, anyway I, I, I just I, when I got this thing I couldn't find anything on there there's really no way um, if I get some requests on how to start the fire I'll do one on how I start it uh, putting two logs on the bottom uh, straight like this so you can lay logs on top really helps to keep it going you can probably see that log right there it's resting on a log to the right that I've got an angle and a log to the left and that way when I start the bottom it just gives me a lot of airflow and it gets the fire going good but uh, if somebody wants to see that I'll do a video on it I mean different people have different ways to start fires I just throw some paper in there put some little twigs over it stack it up like a TP and then it uh, goes from there but if I get enough requests I'll do a video otherwise that's the uh, quadra fire I don't know what the model is, but uh, working that ACC and, the, and the, the basically high airflow. And it's on low right now, so you can tell the flame's going out, and I'm just going to get heat from those coals, and it'll slow down the burning process. All right, we'll end that there.